And now the IDF Netzach Yehuda Nachal Haredi NGO stands apart from many other organizations supporting soldiers on the Israeli front. The NGO, which you can support at the QR code on the screen now, has been working hand in hand with the IDF and Defense Minister for over two decades and supports over 18,000 IDF veterans and 3,000 active soldiers, almost all of whom are on the ground as we speak. Joining me now is Adrian Tiger, the Vice President of External Affairs for Netzach Yehuda. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me, and thank you to everyone, all your viewers, for supporting you. They'll have us in their prayers and their thoughts. It's appreciated, it strengthens us, and it means a lot to us. So first of all, what can you tell us about the morale of the soldiers on the ground? I think that um, the morale is very high, very motivated. Obviously, we went through a very, very black day um, on Simchat Torah, and we take it with us in our hearts. It's a, it a impacts upon us. But everybody, the moral is high. We know who we're fighting, what we're fighting. Um, I think the country in general is very united. Um, we feel the support from around the world, um, the love, the, the, the embrace, and it means a lot. I think that the world, all people who support Jesus in the world are united in one, in one uh, mission is to defeat evil. And I think the, the soldiers feel that support. They know who they're fighting, why they're fighting. And, um, and it's, you know, they're very, very directed. Now, Adrian, a lot of people abroad and here in Israel are receiving mixed messages regarding the needs of the soldiers on the ground. So can you give us maybe a clear picture firsthand? So I've been in contact, obviously, with a lot of uh, Magadin and Pempeim on the ground. Um, so there's a big need for equipment amongst the units. Um, there is information came out from the Israeli Defense Force saying they have enough equipment. I understand it's been confusing to people. Um, my grip of things, my, to the best of my understanding, is I believe that there is equipment coming in, and we'll see in the coming weeks uh, forces that are close to the front lines getting uh, the necessary equipment um, in the coming week or so. And that's my gut feel. But at the moment, there are forces. Um, who are in the middle of operations around uh, the Gaza envelope, who are trying to root out any remaining terrorists, who not all of them have bulletproof vests and things like that. So that is certainly a, a danger for them. Um, plus, we have uh, forces spread around the country, whether it be in Judea Samaria, whether it be in the uh, of Golan, um, on the Lebanese border, who are, will probably get in the equipment later on. So um, we do have forces right now being active in hot areas um, where they're lacking uh, life-saving equipment certain uh, helmets and, and bulletproof vests. And so what exactly uh, was Nahal Haridi established for? And, and does the organization primarily assist only soldiers from particular backgrounds? It's a very good question. Nahal Haridi was established in order to assist uh, Haredi youth who wished to serve in the army and had certain uh, needs and challenges that the army wasn't really equipped to, to meet to help them integrate effectively into the army and also post the army service, integrate successfully into getting a tertiary education um, and into uh, getting uh, good jobs and becoming part of Israel's uh, economy and marketplace. With the event of the war, uh, we met the, the management and the directors of Nachal Haredi, and we came to a decision that, you know, I'm Israel, Zere, we always fight for each other, and we are now helping any units that we can bring equipment to. We've uh, set up a very good distribution channel um, where we have someone who's able to deal with customs in the airport. He's qualified to get tactical equipment. Uh, we've been, uh, through the mayor of Modin, we've been given an uh, area to store equipment. We have hundreds of trucks ready to ship it and hundreds of volunteers to pack it. So we've set up a very good and efficient uh, um, pipeline to help anybody it needs as long as we have we need just two things, funding to buy the equipment and get and people to, to where we can buy the equipment from. Now, Adrian, do you have a message for the world from the ground? Yes, yes, definitely. I want to say to the world, firstly, Israel is strong. we determined. Our motivation our, is very high. Yes, we took a very hard blow, and it's a tragic blow. We feel the pain and the sadness. I think everybody in Israel lost somebody in the Gaza Strip that is either family or wants to remove them. It's personal for everybody here. But um, we've rallied, we've, re we've brought our forces together, and we're going to deliver a crushing blow to Gaza. Uh, I feel it's time now for all decent people in the world to stand up and say, 
what is evil, what is good. We're going to war against evil. It's going to be a very hard fight. It's going to be a lot of tragic visions coming out of Gaza, but we have to root out evil from its roots. Absolutely. Adrian Tiger, thank you so much for speaking with us and for the important work that you do. And for our viewers, if you would like to help support soldiers in the field, you can support at the QR code on the screen. Thank you. Thank you all very much. Thank you.